Welcome learners. In the world of programming, making decisions is a fundamental task and the if-else statement stands as a powerful tool in shaping the flow of our code. This construct allows us to create dynamic, flexible program that responds intelligently to various conditions. Let's start with an if-else. If-else statement is a conditional control structure that allows program to make decisions based on a specified conditions. This is the basic syntax for an if-else statement. The compiler checks if the condition is true, then the code inside the if part is executed. If the condition is not true, then the else part of the code is executed. Let us see this by a small example program. See this program. Here we include an header file stdio.h because in our program we use an input and output functions for accessing these functionalities we include the hash include stdio.h header files then there is a main function mm, inside that we initialize age as an integer because age is a number right so we initialize age as an int and we give a printf statement enter your age Mm, the inside the double quotation is completely shown the display monitor mm, if the user enter their age then it will be stored as a format specifier as an integer because age is a number right so we give percentage d for integers and it is uh, stored in that variable age then the compiler check the user given input age is greater than or equal to 18. If the condition is true, then else part is sorry, if part is executed. If the condition is not true, then the else part is executed. Let us check how it works. Here it asks for my age. So if I give any age, then say you are eligible for oat like uh, if i enter the age is 45 then the age is checked with this 18 like uh, 45 greater than or equal to 18 yes it is true then this if part is executed you are eligible for oat let us check how the else part will work if i give any ages well then it shows you are not eligible for vote. Why? It, it's again the compiler check the age. Uh, if 12 greater than or equal to 18, no, it's not. It is false. So the if false means the else part is executed. So it says you are not eligible for O. This is a simple program for if else statements. Okay. This is the multiple if else statement. This is also inside of if else statements. Why it is used means if if we want to check multiple conditions, then we go for multiple if else statements. Like if the compiler want to check if the first condition is true, then it, this part of code will executed. If the first condition is not true, then it goes for a second uh, that is else if statements. It check for this conditions. If this condition is true, then this code will be executed. Or else if both condition is not true, then the else part will be executed. This is the multiple if else statements. Actually, this else if statements is also called elif. The combination of else if is uh, called as elif. Okay. Let us test this code with a simple program. This is an example for multiple if else statements. Mm, likewise, here we initialize the mark as an integer. Uh, what we are going to do in this program means uh, we get a mark as an input from the user and check uh, what grade in, in the user or okay. Mm, Likewise, in the print statements, we give enter your mark line and if the user entered mark should be stored as that mark variable. Um, mark is a number, right? So, we use the format specifier as percentage %d. Let's see. If the user entered mark is greater than or equal to 90, then the 
print statement you are uh, your you are a grade is executed mm, here we are using a relational operator right that is greater than or equal to in in condition purpose we are using the relational operators okay mm, then we go for else if uh, that is multiple if else right uh, if else this is one part and then second if else part starts with here and this is the third if else part okay so that's why it is called as multiple if else part okay then if the condition is not greater than 90 that is sorry if the mark is not greater than 90 then it's go for the next conditions that is mark greater than or equal to 70 and it should be under uh, less than or equal to 90 or we should change this we should also rewrite this like 90 we should also write this types also the user check if mark greater than or equal to 70 and the mark should be less than 90 uh, less if we put less than only then it should not consider uh, 90 it should consider only at 89 only okay mm, then this condition will be checked if the mark should be under uh, so should be between 70 to 90 then you then this part will be executed if this condition is not also true then this part this condition will be checked this condition will be checked if it is true then this part is executed if all the three condition is false then the else part will be executed let us run this program interview mark if i enter 88 then it shows you what a big hit uh, how its work means if the compiler check my mark is 88 then uh, it check if 88 greater than or equal to 90 no it's not so the first condition is false then it's a check for the second conditions then if 88 greater than it is equal to 70 is it uh, greater than and you know this is an uh, we can use for ambassador logical and operator it it wants to check the both conditions uh, must be true then only the printf statement will be executed okay uh, it checks my mark is greater than 70 and my mark is also less than 90 so this condition is satisfied so this part of the code is working uh, you are b grade let us check another uh, then another example if my mark is 66 then this part of the code is executed uh, it's check my mark is greater than 60 s yes, greater than 60 and it should be less than 70 so this part of the code is executed if my mark is 45 then you are a c grade this is how its work means Mm, it's checked for the first condition it is false then it's move for the next condition this is also false then it for move for the next condition this is also false so the first three condition is false then al uh, already the else part will be executed this is how the multiple if else statements is work okay the next topic is nested if nested if means there is an if else statement inside that there is an another if else statement uh, see this example there is an if else statement right inside that there is an another small if else statement this is how its works means the compiler check if the condition is true then it go to inside this code and also there is an another condition also if the it also check for this conditions and if the condition is true then this part of the code is executed otherwise the else part is executed after completing this process um, it check for it check for else uh, if, if the condition is false then it don't uh, do any operation inside that then it's directly move for an else statements let us see an example with that okay in this example 
mm, that is an header file and a main functions uh, here we give uh, data as in our code okay this is a number so we give it as an integer mm, there is an if statement if the number is greater than zero then print the number is positive and inside that uh, if statement there is an another if statements right mm, this is also work uh, first uh, check for it satisfies or not mm, if num is equal to 15 then 15 greater than 0 yes it is right so then the another if if condition is also check mm, if the number uh, modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0 then it is an even number or else it is an on number okay um, then the 15 is come here and if the 15 modulo 2 if equal to equal to 0 no it's not so this part is not executed this condition is false then the else part is executed okay then when it work means um, if the condition is false in the first stage then do not perform this operation it's directly perform the else part let us check how it's work as I told the number is positive um, but the 15 modulo 2 is not uh, 0 right so it is said uh, it is odd let us change a number yes um, 6 modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0 so it shows it is an even um, modulo means a remainder right um, if we divide 6 with 2 the remainder will be 0 right so uh, the uh, if part is executed chapter 5 we'll see in the next classes and next classes we are going to cover loops while loops for loops etc thank you thank you for watching if you want to obtain a completion certificate, please click the link to our site. Sign up and choose the course level. It is mandatory to watch all the videos and finish the corresponding quiz within the time limit to unlock the final quiz. Get you course completion certificate after completing the final quiz of that level. Happy learning!